Mmm, pizza, classic, right? GSR has you covered if you're looking for a quick slice or the finest dining. I'm going to grab a bite and maybe a movie afterwards, but first, let's look at a classic craft strategy with just a little modification. All right, today's craft strategy is part of my Dice Advice series where viewers submit strategies. This one was sent to me by Joshua Cross, and he calls this the Modded Molly. So if you're familiar with craps, one of the most famous strategies there are are to make a pass line bet, and whenever a point's set, you add maximum odds, and then you follow it up with two come bets. So let's say they move up to numbers, and you add max odds on those numbers as well. Now the problem with this strategy, let's say we're coming out, we have a pass line bet, it goes to a 10, you know, you can do odds of $30, you make a come bet, he hates the 0.7. A lot of you feel like it comes out a lot. What happens if the seven rolls? You lose $40 back here and you only win 10 back. So his modification is to wait until you have at least two numbers before you start adding odds. So if we back this up a little bit, we're on the pass line, we come out on the 10 again this time. Now we make a come bet. Now we're not worried about the seven. A seven would cause this one to lose and this one to win for a push. So we're going to wait another number rolls. Let's say it's the six. Now we can add odds. So we'll add our true at this point. We're at the risk of the seven, but we'll add our $30 for odds on the 10. Here we can do five times odds if we'd like. And then we would again try to get our third number. Now his second modification besides waiting for two numbers is he's just going to limit it to double odds. So for a $10 table, we're just gonna do $20 in odds on all the numbers. All right, he says he likes to try this with a $500 bankroll, so that's what we're gonna do. And I did forget to mention, he sh tries for a 20% win goal or profit goal. So if he gets to $600, he's done for the day. Now if he's in the middle of a hot shooter, he'll keep playing. But once he gets down close to that 20% or that $600, then he's gonna walk away. All right, let's start with $10 on the pass line. I guess essentially he would be playing over here. You'd make your pass line bet. I'm just used to always, for video examples, putting the bet over here. But we can play it over here, and I'll roll in the corner to avoid the bets. All right, here we go. New shooter coming out, looking for his point. Four, the hard way, four hard. So we'll go ahead and mark that up. And again, we're not gonna add odds yet. We're gonna try to get a second number. So a seven will not hurt us. So let's go ahead and $10. And here we go, shooting for that four. Nine, easy nine. Not that there's a hard way nine. But the come bet is going to travel. Now we can make another come bet and then we can get odds on, well, we can add the odds ourselves. So we'll add $20 behind our four. We have our come bet, and then we'll give the dealer, let's give him 25 and say 20 in odds, please. So you'll get five and change, and we'll get out set up for 20 in odds. And here we go. So seven, okay, not very good. Not, we're off to a, be, a rough start here. So these bets are gonna all lose. We do win $10, but we lost a pretty good stack there. Puck is gonna go off. All right, we'll just get back on the line and try it again. Assume someone else is shooting the dice. And here we go, let's see what happens this time. Six, easy six. So mark that six. We're gonna wait on the odds. We're just gonna make a comeback for the first one so we don't have to worry about that dreaded 0.7 out, but it, point, point 0.7 was just as bad. All right, four the hard way. Come bet's gonna travel to the four. Dealer, let me have 20 in odds on that four. I'll give you a five and change. Get $20 in odds, and then we'll place the 20 in odds ourselves on the pass, and then we're gonna get $10 coming. All right, here we go. Five. Five, fear of five. All right, our come will travel up to the five. Let's toss the dealer. We need some red, so let's give him a green again and say 20 in odds. We'll get five and change. 
So now we're at max risk here, but hopefully we can roll one of these four, five, six numbers. So this low side here. All right, shooter, here we go. Four, five, or six. Ugh, brutalized there. Seven. All right, down it all comes. That was a big chunk of money. So we don't need to worry about having a 20% 20, 20 win goal. We need to worry about winning, period, at this point. All right, we start off slow, but we can turn it around. All right, it's going to be a new shooter. Maybe we'll start with the seven, and that'll help. All right, $10 down on the line. Here we go. Six, easy six. Six is going to be our point. Let's mark that up. We're just going to throw $10 in the com. No odds yet. Six the hard way. Wish we had odds, but you can go either way. So here our come bet will travel inside the six. We actually finally have a win there, and the puck's going to go off. So let's go ahead and rack that up. We'll have a new come out. Our six come bet is working. They're contract bets. They always work. All right, here we go. Ten. Easy ten. Our new point's going to be ten. So we have a bet on the ten and the six. Now we're going to add odds. Dealer. 20 in odds, please. All right, there's are for five and change. Set you up for 20 odds. Uh, we have 20 here, so we'll do that ourselves. And we actually need some change here. I'm gonna change out of green. So we can get our $10 coming. And here we go, shooter looking for the six or 10. Mm, seven. All right, these bets are gonna come down. Small consolation. Final count, last come gets paid for $10, and the puck is going to go off. All right, new shooter. Again, like any strategy, it's just going to depend if the dice are rolling in your favor or not that particular day. Start out $10 on the pass line. Here we go, coming out, looking for a number. Five. All right, so let's mark the five. We're going to wait for the odds. We're just going to make another comeback. So we're not worried about the seven here. Six, easy six. This will travel. Let's go ahead and toss this to the dealer. We want double odds or $20. So here's the change. 20 in odds. And let's see. 20 in odds behind our five. And again, we need some change here. So let's change out for some red. So we have $10 coming. All right, here we go. I'd love to get a win here. Six, easy six. This would move on. This would come down and get paid. They're not going to do all that when they could just pay you here. So $20 in odds is going to pay 24 plus our flat bet, so 34 so $34. And they would just set that up off and on for $34. So I guess I can clean that up a little bit. All right, shooter, here we go. Six, easy six. There we go, we can do that all day. So again, off and on for $34 next to your bet. And we can just rack it up. And keep rolling. Six, easy six. Catch up quick if we can do keep doing this. Again, $34 off and on. All right, shooter five or six. There's the five point hit. There we go. So in this case, we don't have a combat up here. So the combat would travel into the five. Our 20 back here would get paid 30, and then our flat bet $10. So we win $40 there. Puck's gonna go off because we hit our point. So we can go ahead and rack all this up. Now when the puck's off, our come bets and pass line are working. I mean, their contract bets are odds bet here on the six. We can remove it if we want, but it's off. It follows the puck. All right, shooter, here we go. Looking for a new point. Three, three craps, line away. So we lose our pass line bet. The three doesn't affect these numbers. So let's go ahead and replace our pass line bet 
Once they're established, it's not affected by the crops numbers. Here we go. Nine. Point is going to be nine. So we have a bet on the nine. We've got our odds here. Let's get our odds behind the pass line on our nine. And let's give the dealer $20 for odds on our five. So you put it in the come. Tell the dealer you want odds on your five. And we have the five, six, nine working for us. Three numbers, that's all we want. 10 hard. That's not going to help us. And seven, bummer. All right, so we're going to take all these bets down. Going to have a new shooter. Give this another roll or two, see what happens. All right, let's start out. Simple pass line bet up $10. Here we go, shooter, coming out. 10, easy 10. So we'll mark that up. And then we're gonna make another $10 bet. No odds just yet. That's the modification. Three craps. That's no good for the come bet. That's what we're gonna lose there. We need some change here, so let's do let's do 50. Take two of these green. We'll have 10 coming and we'll rack the rest. All right, shooter, here we go. Five. Come bet's gonna move to the five. Now we'll do our odds. So 20 in odds, 10 coming for our third number. And let's give the dealer this quarter. We want double odds or $20 on our five. Rack this change up. Now we're set up and ready to go. Looking for one more number or to hit a number. 10 point hit, there we go. So this combat is gonna travel. We've hit our point, it pays two to one back here. So 20 is gonna win 40 and 50. So you can just get paid 50 there. The puck's gonna go off. We can rack up those green. Pull the odds off for the moment. And we're gonna have a new same shooter coming out looking for a new point. All right, here we go. Five. All right, this is an interesting one. Points in the five. Now remember, I said our odds are off, so those just get returned to you. But the flat bet is working, so it gets returned to you. And it's a winner, though, because we rolled it. So in this case, we just asked the dealer, let's put odds on our 10. We'll leave $10 in the com because we want three points. And then we'll take... 10 with 10 more for odds on our five. All right, so we got two numbers and we're looking for a third. Not gonna happen. Dang it. <laughs> I wanted to get somewhere, so all these come down. Last come gets paid. Puck is off. And we have a shooter. All right, one last roll. Let's see if we can. We need some good dice here. Some good rolls. All right, so let's go ahead and just get down on the pass line because we're clearly down here. That's the thing with uh, strategies that have odds. It increases your volatility. So either you're gonna win bigger or you're gonna lose bigger and faster. So it just depends on how these darn dice roll. All right, here we go. Nine, we're gonna be out on the nine. So we mark that up. Again, the modification is no odds for the first roll, just to avoid that 0.7 out. Just like this, 0.7. So we lose our pass line, but we lose or we win in the come. It's a wash. Push. No big deal. Point will go off. We're going to replace the pass. Take our money back. I said that was the last roll, but it was so short, we'll do it again. All right, here we go. Back on that nine. Point is nine. Throw down that combat again. And here we go. 10, the easy way, 10 easy. It's gonna to move to the 10. Now we'll drop quarter, say we want double odds on that 10. So I'm gonna give you five and change. All right, just felt funny. Four chips, 20 bucks, there we go. And then with that change, we could throw in $10 to get our combat. And we want 20 behind our nine. And here we go, looking for a third number or the nine or 10 would be great. 
five up in that corner. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a five. Travel to the five. Dealer, we want double odds on that five. All right, there's your change. Three numbers is all we're gonna play with. Double odds, that's our modification, and there's the seven. Thank you, Josh, for submitting the strategy. Nice little modification if you're worried about the 0.7 out, but the dice did not go in our favor today. So we took a pretty good beating here, I think. We started with 500, one, 250, 255, um, 260, no, there's 260, 265, 266. So just a slight variation on an old classic. So I don't know whether you're a three point Molly player, placement player, dark side player, however you like to play. Good luck on coloring up. Thank <laughs> you.